one of the coldest loaded loading main menus of all time i love this main menu it's it's so cool i I'm so fucking pumped to play this game. This is one of my favorite games of all time. I love it so much. I haven't played it in a long ass time. I think uh, the last time I played it had to be like before COVID. So it has been a hot minute since I played this game. Three. Aim break. Yeah, that's fine. That's what I want. Okay, I think we're all set. Anyway, yeah, I love this game. And lucky for you guys, it's a PS5 version. I wasn't originally going to do crushing. Okay, I fixed it right up. So, lucky for you guys, I don't have the PS5 trophies. So, I can do crushing mode. And let me tell you, crushing mode is very hard on this game, so I've beaten it once before on crushing mode. So we can do it. We're doing it again. It didn't show you that date, but the last time I played this was in literally 2019. I'm so fucking pumped. I love this game. It's such a great game. The story, the scope, the scale, the fucking gameplay, the characters, it's just such a goaded game. And we're throwing right into it, baby. I, I, I'm gonna have like smile, I'm gonna be smiling to smiling from ear to ear, entire, the entire game. This is really not good. Hold on! Plus, Nathan's model looks really good here. They really took advantage of like the PS4 technology. I can't believe how... I know it's not like an ancient, but I still can't believe how well this game looks. Like, it literally looks like it came out like fucking yesterday. Also, we are blessed with Nolan North and Troy Baker's voice talent in this game. Oh, these are the voice actors for Nate and Sam. Oh my god, and the music, I forgot about the music. The best Uncharted soundtrack, no doubt. Henry Jackman fucking crushed it. He was, I don't know what drugs he was on for this one, but he was fucking cooking up something fierce. This is, this is gonna be a glazing let's play. Alright, this is gonna be a glazing. I'm just like waiting, something's supposed to happen here, I'm just waiting for it. I had no idea you can actually die on this part. This is just such a great game. Oh shit, yeah, this is literally what I was waiting for. <laughs> this is just one of those games I just don't understand how someone can hate. Like, seriously, like, it has, like, something to offer for everybody. It's like the perfect like action and adventure. What? I can I can fix it, just just cover me. Damn it! 
It's like, what more can you want out of a video game, you know what I mean? Oh my god, the gunplay is so fucking good in this game. Holy fucking shit, you fuck you, yeah, motherfucker. Remember, this is not crushing, so if I seem like I suck, it's literally on the hardest difficulty. I don't know what more can you want. I'm doing this for you guys. I've already done this once before, but lucky for you guys, I don't have the PS5 trophy for this. So why fucking not? Oh my god. Oh my god, the controls for this thing are kind of booty chafes. You have to turn really hard. Oh fuck when I hit a damn rock. On your right! Watch it, watch it! Oh shit! Ah. I'm just so happy you know Lynn North Ethan. and Troy Baker got a game together. Nathan. What are we gonna do with you? You must be tired of these lectures. I know I'm tired of giving them. And now you have to stay here with me all weekend instead of going on the retreat with everyone else? I don't care. Yes, that is the crux of the problem. I don't see why I'm the only one being punished. Because you started the fight. You wouldn't give me back my book. I told you to leave those books in your room. You only have yourself to blame. Doesn't give him the right to just snatch it from me. Does that give you the right to start throwing punches? It wasn't just about the book. What was it then? Nothing. I'll save it for confession. No matter what I try, you seem insistent on going down the same sad road as your brother. What a waste. What the fuck? Uh, there might be a treasure in here. I'm not too sure though. Unless I already, I don't, I don't think there is. I see you. Up and around we go. Whoa! Too slippery. God, the gameplay is so fucking smooth, guys. I can't even like. Uh, this, is gonna, this is gonna be like I said. This is gonna be a glazing let's play, all right? I know somebody who's still mad at me for my Final Fantasy VII Reapers review is gonna be like, "You're glazing this." Yeah, yeah, cause it's good. Okay, nice and quiet. It's good. I like, I like that, and I don't like the other thing. Eat my ass. That spell anything? How far can I see? Let me see. <sighs> when it gets up to eight, I cannot read it like at all. <laughs> That's how bad my vision is. I was trying to see if that said something because uh, I know in The Last of Us, like. On the final like level, 
isn't it our job to help boys like him? In the meantime, I know in the final level they have like one of those like those things, and it says like something, like it says a message. I'm not ready to give up on him yet. You can't keep avoiding it. I think the message was like, "Don't stop. You're almost there," or something like that. Okay. Good night, Father. Good night, Sister Catherine. Man, I feel bad for Nathan. He suffered the worst fate imaginable. <laughs> he has to live with fucking nuns. Gotta get to that window. Come on. Move it, sister. I forget what these places are called. I don't. I don't remember what they're called. I don't know. My parents actually loved me. They didn't put me in a fucking home like this. <laughs> they didn't put me in no dance school like this. Sister Catherine. I've forgotten my keys again. Can you open the gate for me? Coming, father. I'm out of here, fucking bitches. Come on. God, even when you were a fucking young little lad, shit was still breaking on you, weren't it? Sam? Ooh, you gotta learn to watch your back. <laughs> Alright. Hey, it's good to see you, little brother. What was that? Really? Again? It's nothing. You told me you'd stay out of trouble, though. He was talking shit about us. So? He said that Dad dumped us here because we're worthless, and Mom is in hell because- Nathan, Nathan, come on. They're just saying it because it gets to you, all right? You just gotta learn to laugh it off. You wouldn't. Well, do as I say, not as I do. Here. You'll catch a cold. So, what are you doing here like this anyway? If the nuns catch you, they're gonna call the cops. Well, I got something for you, and I couldn't wait till Christmas. What? It's outside. What happened to us staying out of trouble? Uh, this is an exception. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice jump. Now, when, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was, like, really, like, a doubter. Not of this game. I knew it was probably gonna be fucking great. Right? This is just feeding you enough. <sighs> I was kind of a doubter of them, like, introducing, like, a whole new character in the fourth and final game. At least, that's what we thought at the time. I was, like, hesitant on them, like, announcing, like, a new character, a whole new character. And it's Nate's brother, who's never been mentioned in previous games at all. How's Father Duffy doing? He's the one decent guy in there. You should come and say hi. Nah, I don't need the guilt. I was really like skeptical of it because it's like a whole new fucking character in the last game and it's Nate's brother. How are they going to pull this off? Well, fucking Naughty Dog found a way to make his inclusion feel natural. This way. To the point where it kind of feels unnatural that he's not in the past games. Like he feels like he's been here forever. Even when they announced that Troy Baker is gonna voice him, I was still like, oh, I don't know. Damn. Damn, I feel stupid because Sam is such a good character. I, I did. At least I thought I did. No, it doesn't matter. We're gonna take the high road. The high road? Just follow me. 
Watch this. Oh, I missed you, ropey rope. Have you done this before? Uh, once or twice. Here, come on. Your turn. Where the fuck even are they at? I don't, I don't I can't even tell like what city they're in. Looks like I was gonna say England, that's not so, the big Ben. What you been up to? Working mostly. Are you still dating that girl? Oh uh, Crystal? Uh, on again, off again. Currently off again. I'm gonna take a random get based on like the the area, I'm gonna say this This looks like something in like Massachusetts. No guts? No glory! And just based off Sam's accent, it seems kinda Boston-y. Come on, Nathan. I just don't think about it. You got this. That is a far ass shot. I'm gonna get a running start. Alright, for all my bitches and bros and non-binary hoes, I'm making this jump. I gotcha. See? No big deal. Yeah. Nothing to it. Stay with me. Also, this actor that voices a uh, young Sam is also a character in The Last of Us. He, uh... I think his name is Jordan. Yeah. He voices Jordan in uh, Last of Us Part Two. Through here, right behind you. Well, interesting. Hey, there's a jump coming up. I know. I really likes reusing like the same actors. I don't mind though, since they all like. Uh, it's not like they're just playing like the same characters every time. Right down the middle. Like you're really gonna tell me Nolan North? Is the same in Uncharted and Last of Us? You're gonna tell me he's Nathan Drake in Last of Us? Was that a sin? I think that's a sin. Same with Troy Baker. You're really gonna tell me Joel and Sam are the same? Yeah. Alright, go ahead. Hell no, motherfucker. Watch this. God, I missed that shit. Oh, and we get to use that in combat and stuff? Oh my god, that's gonna be the shit. Not gonna lie, I don't remember where to go right here. Oh, I didn't see this. Up the steeple. Come on. I can't jump that high. I just go around the corner. It's a nice view, huh? Yeah. Not bad. You ever been up here before? This particular roof? No. But you do know where you're going, right? Eh, more or less. You wait here, and you watch me. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Your turn. Girl, you think I can fucking do that? Look at him, I'm a little wee lad. Go ahead. Just don't overthink it. Oh crap! Ah. Come on. Ah. Ah. I did it. Of course you did. Yes, I have a beard right now. I'm just seeing how long it goes, and because my girlfriend likes it, and my girlfriend's grandma likes it. So that tells me it's a sign that I need to keep it for now. You know what? How about you take this one? And plus, I'm jobless right now, so <laughs> it felt fitting. Really? Yeah, really. I'll get into that later when we're in the not talkative section. Cause I'm really enjoying like their dialogue. All right, 
After you. Now, head down. Just like Thank that, you. we're out. All right. Check it out. Huh? Whoa, <laughs> you got the 250? 250? What are you talking about? No, this is the 500 cc twin no way yeah where'd you lift it from whoa that's a low blow <laughs> but hey i'll have you know that i am a changed man bought this with hard-earned cash here come on take a seat what the only time you pull a stunt like this is when you're trying to make up for something you are too smart for your own good you know that all right I got this job. Pays well. Really well. But, uh, I gotta leave town for a little bit. What's a little bit? Uh, like, uh, a year. At the most, and then I'll be back before you even know it, all right? You're bailing on me. Uh, come on, don't be so dramatic. What, so it wasn't bad enough to leave me in that place? How could you do this to me, Sam? Wait, wait, I'm doing this for you. The money I make is for the both of us. And then in a couple of years, when you're out... years? Take me with you. I, I can barely support myself. I'll pitch in. I know you think the orphanage sucks. You have no idea. Yeah, but it's the best thing for you right now. All right? You just gotta trust me on that one. It's not fair. Hey. Yeah. Nothing about our lives has been fair. But we've made it work. Right? Sure. Well, you know, the bike wasn't the only surprise. And I guess I'm gonna have to ruin the next one. What? I found Mom's stuff. Everything that Dad sold, I tracked down the buyer. If you're saying this just to make me feel better... Mm -hmm. I swear to God. Where? Yeah. On the other side of town. What do you say we go and get it back? You mean steal it? It's not stealing if it was ours to begin with. I'm pretty sure the cops aren't going to see it that way. Well, then let's not get caught. You ready for this? Hell yeah. Let's go. This will be more easy than I expected, eh? <laughs> he looks so out of place here. It's funny. Literally the only white boy here. Acabemos con esto. Let's go. I'm gonna spin now. Take that. Come on, bitch. Oh man, you better not. You better hope you're not low in the shower later. Yeah, get that bitch. What the fuck? Fuck you. Get out of the fight. Oh my god, you got everybody here on your side, dude, huh? Fuck you. How does this even start, dude? You can't even speak the same language. Oh, damn. Come on, amigo. Oh, you piece of shit, ring the mud. Eat my. What the fuck is Pablo Escobar? Huh? Right, little guy? Hey, give me a call when you're tall enough to ride the rides. Tell me they did not design him off Pablo Escobar. Like, they look so alike. It's funny. Funny enough, I'm pretty sure Narcos came out around when the show came out. When this uh, game came out, I mean. How long am I supposed to be in here? Huh? 
<laughs> Where's the toilet? You looking at it? Have fun. I will. Gracias. Owie. They put me in the hole. That's not nice. I've seen videos of on online of people like like staying at like prisons for experiment and they say like staying in like solitary confinement is like actual torture. Yeah. Even if it's just like a short amount of time. I was having a great dream too. Like a couple hey, of hey, days. Hey. Right. It's bad. Ah. It takes like a serious toll on your mental psyche. Hey, what the fuck, right, man? Hey, uh, any chance I can take a shower? And look at me. Left me in there for like a whole day. Or, boys, or is it the evening? I, it's hard to tell down here. Oye, idiota. Get up the stairs. Viene saliendo un prisionero. Abran las rejas. Hey, nice to see you. <laughs> do, 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 do. Right. Oh, it's like me when I go outside. Welcome to Panama. Hey, gringo! Vi lo que hiciste a Gustavo. Tengo un cuchillo que tiene tu nombre, amigo. Si habla español, pendejo. Déjanoslo a nosotros. Nos encargamos de él. Muévanse. Quítense, cabrones. Hey, hey. A lot of people forget I know Spanish. <laughs> yeah, my adoring public. Let me just say, I'll see that guy later, alright? I'm gonna hit the showers with him, and it's not gonna be pretty. Go. What the fuck? He like teleported there. Es una sorpresa. Diviértete. I do speak a little Spanish, you know. <laughs> Wait, what, what did you say? You'll find out soon enough. Wait, was that the guy I'm fighting with? Is that him? Nada, amigo. Atrás. De este me encargo yo. Bien. That's the same guy, no? <laughs> Look at you now. Look at you now. Hey, I want to watch him get his ass beat, motherfucker. Where the fuck is anyway. You'll see. Which way? They're both locked. Is it this way? Going down a big hole, you motherfucker. I'm going into yeah, even more solitary confinement. Off. All for hey, a fight. You know, this doesn't look like the warden's office. Go left. Yeah, I'm on it. Through there. Through here? Take these cuffs off or what? I want in. In? Whatever you hope to find up there, I want in. <laughs> now, come on, Marcus. The deal was just to get us in and out of here. That's it. Just? I'm sticking my neck up for you, gringos. Yeah, and Rafe is paying you a lot of money for your trouble. See? But not nearly enough. You were told not to open that. Yes. I was also told not to take bribes, not to bring anyone here. And not to beat on my inmates. But here we are. Right, just be careful with that. It's 300 years old. I was a member of Captain Henry Avery's crew. You know who that is? He was a pirate. The pirate who pulled off the biggest heist in history and got away with it. I looked him up. It's great. Over Can 400 we... million dollars worth of gold and jewels, all from one single ship. The, the guns way. Yeah. yeah. I'm familiar with the story. Can you get to the point? Uh-huh. I occupied the highest cell in the Spaniards' prison. 
Here. I hope someday you will find your way into this infernal place, bear my cross, and discover the riches of paradise. What? What do you want? The riches of paradise. Oh, it's a it's... metaphor. No, 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 no. You and your friends did not pay to get into this infernal place in search of a metaphor. I want in. Right. I'll tell you what. Let me go up there, check out the prison cell. If there's still anything there after 300 years, you can take this up with Rafe. Now, come on. Letter. Por favor. How are you gonna get up there anyways? Climb. Oh, unless, of course, you want to do it since you want in and all. Just don't break your neck. That's the plan. Honestly, his request hey, is not. Yeah, eat it just over there, under the work table, uh, by the crates. Great, thanks. His demand is not so bad. I mean, the treasure you guys are seeking is like worth like oh, millions upon millions of dollars. There we go, piece of cake. And he did get you into here. It's not like that bad that he asked for a little bit. I would too. I'd be like, hey, you guys are getting millions of dollars. No, Come me a little bit in. Give me a little percentage, you know, like 18%. Because you wouldn't have gotten here without me. You know what I'm saying? Alright, this should do the trick. This is the tactic of negotiating, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Fuck yeah. yeah. Here's the prison cell. How do I get up there? Fucking rope that shit. Here we go. Ooh, Is he still over there? Will I still be able to see him? No, he's not there. He's probably went back there. Also, I will say that the, uh, like the treasure we're after, like the story around it, is probably the most interesting in all all the games. Like, yeah, all the, like, stories around what we're searching for is cool and all, but... I do like how this one, like, ties in. How well it ties into Nate's, like, obsessive nature. Looks like I can and, like, how dangerous and, like, addictive, like, the thrill can be. Because him and, like, Henry... Every... Yeah, Henry Avery's story is, like, so remarkably similar... It, it's really interesting. I really like like the the story around the treasure in this game. I think it's the best in all the games. Wow, that is beautiful. That that's gonna be my new screensaver right there. God, we really are like on like some fucking island. Holy shit! <laughs> this must be where they put like the most like dangerous criminals. There's no way that. They would just put like a fucking just random offender here. Nah, they gotta put like the guys who are willing to like bomb places and shit. Ain't no way. Like you're not gonna put someone who like evaded taxes in here. Oh yeah, my job. So uh, I lost my job. I didn't get fired. I'm a very good employee. Um, the business shut down. <laughs> You're probably hearing about a ton of things like that. No shit. But yeah, the economy was shit and the business shut down and they had to close down. So, I am out of a job currently. Hard to believe I am actively looking for one. Here, but the area I lived in is kind of shit when it comes to unemployment. Okay. Where to? I will tell you now, the area I live in is one of the most unemployed unemployed places in all of America. It's been that way for like long ass time. It's always in the top 10, top 15. So if you just look up the highest unemployment rates, it, <laughs> my town is literally on there. <laughs> the problem is, it's not what you know, it's not like how skilled of a worker you are here, it's more like who you know. Yeesh. 
I thought the modern prison was bad. I hanged the first of Captain Avery's crew this afternoon, in full view of their cohorts. A gratuitous act, perhaps one that strokes that stroke stokes fear in their hearts for what follows. A visit to the remaining men in the tower. The sorry pirates threw themselves at my feet, begging for mercy. One day I hope to hear such pleas from their elusive captain. So this was in September 18, 1696, then two days later, as I hanged the rest of the pirates this morning, one soul was bold enough to offer a bribe as the hood was placed around his head. More vague promises of vast treasure. I asked him where this hoard could be found, and then dropped him as he answered. I have no patience for a pirate's falsehood. Like, see, isn't that similar to what's going on here? Except just... The guy just took the bribe. Like, Vargas, he took the bribe. Isn't that, like, very similar to what's happening? Anyway, it's just very hard to find a job in my area. You just have to have, like, connections. This is one of those towns where as soon as people, like, graduate high school... They, uh, they fucking dip out of here. Because there is just not a lot to offer here. But I'm holding out just until I can move out and live a happy life with my future happy wife. But yeah, it sucks. You're probably wondering if I'm gonna miss the place I work at. Not fucking really. Here we go. Burns his cell. It was just an average retail job. The only thing I will miss are the cool co-workers I had. They were fucking awesome, and I'm glad to call some of them my friends. But like the business, no. I I never get sad when businesses slow down. Um, it's what the only business I really got sad for when it closed down was Blockbuster, <laughs> but that just could be nostalgia talking. Sun and moon, alchemy symbols for gold and silver. Wait a so second. yeah, but luckily like on the letter. they gave me some benefits to last me like a year at least, and I'll get paid up huh. until then. Well, that's part of the symbol. No, oh, well, we already uh, he already read this to us. Here's the other half. Now then. Yeah, you have to fold that's it. That's more like it. Okay, got a zodiac symbol. Sagittarius. And the Scorpio sign. Okay. Wait, let me see that note again. So it's like an X and like an M. Where's that fucking X at? Okay, so it's these. How would I know which one it is though? That's the question. That's not it. When in doubt, just push every button and hope for the best. Either. Nothing. Roman numeral two. Ah, nope. Did I miss something on the letter? Something on the back. Sagittarius. Roman numeral 10. Wait, what if it's this one instead? The way he said Roman numeral 2 is making me think that, like, I have to get a 2 out? No. Hmm. That's not it. Yeah, I should look at that letter again. I'm not gonna lie, I really don't understand this puzzle that much. It's not this one either. 
Wait, no, the X. The X. I, I just realized there was a, a, a 10 down there. Hmm. Roman numeral 10. <laughs> Nothing. What did that letter say again? So it's either a 10 or a 2. Roman There's a 2 right here. Two. No? Hmm. Well, where's that Sagittarius symbol? Sagittarius. Roman numeral 10. Wait. 10? Wait, hold up. Hold up. Try this one? No, that's not it. Yeah, I should look at that letter again. This one. No. I really don't understand this puzzle if I'm being like, completely honest. That one. That one's it. That one stuck out like a sore thumb. Ooh, look at that bad boy. All things consider, if it's just him in here, like Henry Avery, it's not a bad prison cell. Lots of space, lots of room. You got a bed, and probably a toilet in here somewhere that I didn't see. Gotta watch that first step. Ah, so you're kind of living like a king. Down we go. Huh. No. Uh, try not to eat shit. Careful. All right, one more time. <laughs> yeah, let's see right through that. There we go. We're free. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably the one Uncharted game where I don't remember the puzzles that much. There's Vargas. I want a gut. I want in. I'll give you in. Uh oh. Get up, Nathan. Please. Alright, Vargas, you Pablo Escobar looking motherfucker. I got something for you. Now we're talking. What's up, cunt? What'd you find? Greg? What? The place was picked clean. If there's a clue hidden up there somewhere, I couldn't find it. Are you sure? Were you looking in the right place? Oh, maybe I just I missed something in the letter. There could have been another tower that collapsed centuries ago. Yeah. Have you uh, any plans at this place? You know, like blueprints? Uh, could be. There's a bunch of old files. Okay, great, great. Go look through those, okay? See what you can dig up. Meanwhile, I'll, I'll talk to Sam. He's our Avery expert. Maybe he can make sense of this whole mess. Right. I'll, I'll look through the files. Yeah. Turn around. Yeah. Greg, you sneaky motherfucker, man. You sneaky duck. Are you done talking to him? 
Come and find me. You got it. Ah. Gringo, if I catch you fighting one more time, one week in the hole for you. Nice acting, Private. Almost as good as mine. Just another day at the office. Come on. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not gonna keep me in suspense, are you? You were right. <laughs> no, we were right. No. We just gotta find Rafe. No, and... Rafe. Don't, don't start, please. Oh, come on. Like you said, we did this. You and me. Now this rich asshole comes in on the tail end? How long have we been trying to get in here? <sighs> we had some leads. No, we didn't. Okay? Not one. So like it or not, no Rafe, no Vargas, and no getting in here. Speaking of Vargas, we got a problem. What kind of problem? Did he let you into the old prison? Yeah, yeah, he did. Right. After he read the letter. Mm. Hmm. So how much does he know? Enough that he wants a cut. Oh, shit. Rafe, if anybody else finds out about I'll, this... I'll work it out with Vargas. Don't sweat it. Right now, let's just... Let's get on to more important matters. All right. Let's find somewhere a little more, uh, private. Yeah. Oh, Rafe. Rafe, Rafe, Rafe. All right, coast is clear. Okay, so what do we got? <sighs> oh shit! Right, Vargas didn't bother to search him. May I? Just be careful, okay? Wood with gold and silver inlay. It's well made. <laughs> it's hollow. Why would one of Avery's men go through the trouble of hiding a cheap crucifix? It's not a crucifix. Technically, a crucifix is a representation of Jesus. It's not Jesus. Well, you're right. There's no crown of thorns. He's tied to the cross. Well, if it's not Jesus, then... Read the inscription. Digna factus recipimus. We receive... We receive... We receive the due rewards of our deeds. Yeah. Look at you. It's a benefit of growing up in a Catholic orphanage. That's St. Dismas. Yeah, a penitent thief. But what's the connection? Guys, let's just pretend I skipped all of Sunday school. <clears throat> okay, uh, during the crucifixion, Jesus is placed between two thieves, okay? One of them mocked Jesus. The other one, this guy, was penitent. He accepted his punishment with grace. And Jesus brought him to paradise. Penitent thief. Yeah. <laughs> what? You figured it out? There is a cathedral of St. Dismas in Scotland. Wait, the last sighting of Avery was in Scotland. That can't be a coincidence. No. <laughs> you know, I had my doubts about you, too. But let's find Vargas. Get the hell out of the shithole. Oh, oh no, he wants another round. Let me guess, this is the guy you picked to fight with? Uh, didn't know he had so many friends. Te dije que no habíamos terminado. Mira, ya nos ganaste, okay? Muy tarde para hablar. Aquí no sales! You know what? Tú no te metas! Okay. Oh, you fucking chomp, man. Sucker punched me. Did you have to pick on the most popular guy? Yeah, get body slammed, bitch. Guys, save it for later. Get it, get it, bitch. Sorry, Sam, I didn't see you there. Kick him in the cut. Kick you in the cut. Kick you in the dick. Ah, oh, motherfucker. I got you, Sam. Right in the cock. Get him, Sam. Atta boy. 
Where's that piece of shit that wants to fight with me? God, the fighting is so fucking smooth in this game. It's crazy. Where is he? There he is. I see him. Damn! Some help here! Thanks. Mono and mono. Come on. You thought it was easy pickings, huh? Not today. Fuck you. Hey, hey, get off. Hey, espera. Ya basta de hablar. Oh, my goodness, Pablo. Alguien más necesita que le recuerde las reglas. Alíñense. <gasps> He's going to find it. Shit. It's just my prayer. Are you bringing in contraband, Fergus? Who do you think you are? Llévalo a su celda. Trae los gringos a mi oficina. Damn it. The principal's got me. Déjanos. Déjanos. Too long enough. We almost got killed, you know. You still might. Vargas. Seriously. Oh, I didn't find anything. It must be in a different tower. Hey, it's just my well, prayer. I need that. All right, I'm a very religious I man. Say, I was raised Catholic. I always carry one. <laughs> Funny. Hey, 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 hey! Look, it's worthless. All right. You think I'm an idiot? Okay. You want to renegotiate? Fine. Stop acting like a third world thug. Put the gun away. And you'd never find it without us. 25 equals. 25. Does that sound fair, guys? I suppose I can live with that. <laughs> sure. Maybe 400 <laughs> divides nicely by four. Looks like we oh. have a deal. Yes, yeah, we have that's a fine. Deal. And if you ever cross me again. Oh! Well, looks like you're never getting your 25% now. Oh, damn it. Jesus. That's that. Are you out of your goddamn mind? You want to find out? I'm done. Guys, what are we doing here? We're sticking to the plan. Was this part of the plan? Just follow me. Come on! Come on! God damn it! God. Rafe, where are we going? Damn it, Rafe! The lighthouse. Vargas said the boat is right under the lighthouse. Little fun fact: Rafe is in the first Avengers movie. He is the guy that plays Galaga. The window. I'm not joking. Yeah, that actually is him. Hurry up! There. I'm not gonna lie, at first, I, like when I first played this, I thought Rafe was Jake Gyllenhaal and I was like, what the fuck? But no, it's not. Damn it. Damn it. It's locked. Guys, we can uh, climb this. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> Shit. Another dead end. Fire escape. Nathan, come on, Sam. Ready? And. <laughs> and, uh, fuck you, Ray. Let's go. Yeah, after you. Oh, okay, that's how it's gonna be. Oh, you cunt. You fucking stumpy cunt. 
fucking want to feed me to the wolves there, don't you? Wow, you guys brought your nightsticks? Ah, what a good lad. Let's clean house. Mm, you're rock bottom, bitch. Fuck you. Fuck you, motherfucker. Have a taste of wall. Come here. My fist. Get off him. Thought you trusted him. I do. point. Right here. Help me push. Oh. Oh, you need my nice big strength, don't you, buddy? He's gonna leave without us, isn't he? Not if we quit. Come on, after you. I can excuse that Nate will like trust Ray. This is this is literally before the first game. Looks clear. This is probably when he was at like his worst. Yeah, it's like they don't want us to leave or something. Oh shit! Guard. Amigo. Great. Good to see you. Get down that ladder for us. We're close. There's the lighthouse. Like I said. Oh, thank you. Let me go first. I'm like this cunt. I don't celebrate yet. That's right. Just keep searching over there. Don't mind us. There it is. Come on. Don't drop the cross. He's got it. Sam's got it. Sam, what? I'll pull you up. Now I have to catch you. I got you. Come on. Oh. Sam, no. No, you hold on. Hold on. Sam. Give me your other arm. We gotta move. Oh, no, he's still down there. No, he's gone. Come on, the boat's just beyond the wall. No, no, I can't. I can't, I can't leave him behind. Nate, your brother is dead. Either come with me or join him. Just have it your way. Oh god, no. No. Shit. Yeah. That really makes total sense why he would never bring him up if he just... The last thing he saw was he just saw him die like that. It looked like conclusive too. Like, yeah, no fucking chance he survives that. You know what I mean? Man got fucking blitzkrieged in the little fucking midsection. That was just the intro too. Got blitzkrieged and fell down some shit. Ah. Oh wow, this like recaps like the previous games. Yep, that was the first one. Second game. God, that train for us so good. Oh, look who wrote it! Oh my god, fucking public enemy number one, <laughs> Emily Rose, Miss Elena.
I love Elena. Elena's so awesome. Yeah, Neil Druckmann cooked here too. A lot of people think he's a hack, but he also made this game too, and a lot he also made on the other Uncharted's and The Last of Us. Let's Tell let's not get carried away here. Okay, according to your signal, you had the coordinates. Any sign of our hold? No, not yet. Anyway, you got any pinks from up there? Afraid not. All right. I'll just keep heading downstream. Copy that. One thing I've noticed with the internet that I kind of fucking hate is when, like, a great, like, filmmaker or game maker or writer or whatever, he'll make, like, a string of, like, gold. He'll make a string of great shit, and then they'll have, like, one what they think is flop. They'll make one, like, bad something, and they just instantly discredit their whole career. I hate that so much. That's so dumb. I see it all the time with Neil Druckmann. Now look, hey, Last of Us 2 all you want. I, I don't fucking care. That game is... Am I love that game, alright? It's one of my favorite games ever. I love The Last of Us 2. Alright? And a lot of people hated it. And now because of that, they discredit his whole career. This man was fucking in here making all the Uncharted games. And he was heavily involved with the fourth hey, one. You're gonna so tell me the fourth one sucks now? And he was heavily involved with the first Last of Us. Hey, you're mumbling. I hate that shit. I hate when people do that because it's so stupid. You're teasing me now, Drake. You're teasing me. But the more egregious one is Ryan Johnson. Look, I'm not the biggest fan of Last Jedi. But let's not act like he didn't make like some of the best Breaking Bad episodes. Alright, how's it look? Let's beat up, he cooked tactic. with those fucking Breaking Bad episodes and Knives Out. What do we got here? All right, I can see the cargo. It's like most of the crates are here. Can you get an accurate count? I'm gonna have to go inside for that. Stand by. I've never understood why people like. I've just found out that a lot of gamers just really hate Neil Druckmann. I found a stray crate. Ah oh, hell. But thankfully, a lot of gamers don't represent, like, the average person. I think I just get too much of my info from Twitter, and I have to recognize a lot of Twitter doesn't represent the most people. Because everyone I talk to, besides, like, one person, loves The Last of Us Part Two. Seriously. Most of the people I know who have played it like it. I only know like one person who like really dislikes it. Well, the are and they don't even dislike it. They just hate that it's like it mostly in flashbacks. Sounds like a plan. It's it's just so weird to me how like he's like so hated. Alright, here we go. Like even if you don't like it. He's also made the Uncharted games and Last of Us, alright? He's not, like, a fucking hack job. Whoa. Morning, fellas. Alright, I'm in. Uh, looks like a lot of it's still strapped down. Well, like, personally, I think Hideo Kojima's kind of a hack job, but people fucking worship him. Death Stranding was terrible. Why don't you come up first, get a fresh tank? I already found one straggler out there. Other can't be too far. Found it. Yeah, Jesus. Found the other crate. I must have swam right past it before. I'm not gonna lie, I missed this crate. I spent like 20 minutes like looking around for this fucking thing and it was just right here. Pinned beneath the trailer. Tell you what, secure the other crate first, then we'll lift the trailer up for you. Uh, you see, that's why you get paid the big bucks. <laughs> yeah. All right, I went back and got that crate I found earlier. One down, one to go. Secure it in the trailer. We're nearly at your position. All right, see you soon. I would honestly kind of like to do this job, except I'm kind of scared of the ocean. Just because it's, like, the unknown. Like, you don't know what's down there. But, like, salvaging, like, stuff like this. Seeing what's down here, I think would be pretty cool. Right above you, slings on its way down. Like, I really wouldn't mind doing this job too much. 
Plus you get to explore the ocean. That sounds pretty cool. Just salvage like shipwrecks and see what's in it and see like the history behind them. It's like those people who look up like okay, look at like abandoned buildings. It's like basically the same concept, it's just underwater. Hey, that's one. Alright, you watch your oxygen now. That's fine. Like seriously, I wouldn't mind being like a shipwrecked scuba diver. That'd be pretty cool. And that's two. Okay, trailer secure, ready to go. Alright. Get clear, we'll lift it up. Ready when you are. And up we go. Come on, Nate, focus. Okay. That enough? Yeah, plenty. Just don't drop it on me. <laughs> no promises. I totally forgot about the crate here. Okay. I got the other crate. I'm gonna strap it in with the others. Wonder what could be in here. Watch it be like something. I don't remember what's in here, but it, what if it's like something just totally worthless? Come on, come on. There you go. Oh boy. All cargo present and accounted for. Yeah, with five minutes of oxygen to spare. Jesus. Hey, maybe you should hang out then. See if you can find some other treasures down there. <laughs> nah, I'm good. Wanna ride up? <laughs> I'd love one. Let me know when you're on the sling. Can I just actively just look around for treasure real quick? See, like, like doing this, it'd be cool to like look at just life that's far below us. See what's down there. You know what I mean? And then, bam! I just get a little lift up here. You got it. Going up. <laughs> Look at that beauty. How you feeling? Oh, better now that I'm out of that river. I'm gonna stink like fish for a week. <laughs> All right. We're gonna come to you. Hang on. Hang on. What's up, boys? Just fucking flippers down there. Good to have you back, Drake. Yeah, it's good to be back. Toss down your gear. Here you go. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> Thanks, kind of light. I'm just making your job easier, right? Drake, gotta say that wasn't the slowest dive I've ever sat through. <laughs> Hold on, is that a compliment? I'm stunned. Nah, you know what's stunning? Your smell. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> I don't know, man. I kind of like it. Reminds me of your mom. <laughs> That's cold, man. I'm gonna tell her you said that, too. You do that, buddy. Let's look around this little. There's a little ship. Man, I wish they move all this to computers. Government's like ten years behind the rest of the world. My man. Hello. 
How'd we do? How do you think? Full recovery? Every last bit. <laughs> Making the rest of us look bad. Making the rest of you look good. Oh, this isn't right. Let me read this. Let's wrap this up later. My hero. <laughs> Come on. Let's go see what you brought us. Hey, so how about you? Okie dokie. man next time. You've earned a break. No, no thanks. Take a dive over being at the office any day. Yeah, well, uh, either way, it's gonna be a while to the next dive. What are you talking about? What about Thursday's job? Mm -mm. Oh, come on, no. Got underbid. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, competition's tough. Let's see here now. Care to do the honors? Yeah, sure. Thanks. That he struck copper. <laughs> well, you'd be surprised how much this stuff is worth. Clients paying good money for the full cover. Sure, you don't want to just melt it down, make some pennies. <laughs> Come on, let's go celebrate. First rounds on me. Bar hopping with you guys? <laughs> no, 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 not unless there's hazard pay. Uh, if it's all the same to you, I think I'm just gonna do the paperwork and uh, get home and crash. A rain check, though. All right, suit yourself. Hey, good work today. Thanks. What a chill, boss. Copper. Nice little family life. Hey, hey, Nate. Nate, hold on. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, I got a present for you. Present? What's this? Got some news from my contact about that wreck off the coast of Malaysia. <laughs> oh no. Uh, the ship's intact. Yeah? Cargo's right for the piggin'. You are a persistent one, I'll give you that. And all the money came through for the equipment, too. We are all set. Except uh, my best guy. The guy I trust for the job, the only one. He he's got cold feet. My feet were never warm to begin with. And tell me this contact of yours? You get the permits? No, he did not get the permits. Can't no one get the damn permits? Of course not. But Nate, don't you see that works in our favor? No permits means no competition. The ship is ours. No permits means no go. <sighs> Nate, this is retirement money for the both of us, okay? I don't know about you, but I don't want to be working salvage when I'm 60. Do you? Sure beats prison. No. Listen, I have to pass. And trust me, so should you. Okay, just take it with you. Humor me. I'm okay? not gonna change my mind. Oh, then don't hurt to sleep on it, does it? Say hi to Carla and the kids for me, okay? All right. No pressure, Nate. But think about it. I wonder how old he, Nate has to be at this point. He has to be in Lisa in like his 40s. Maybe 50s. Narrowing down the search area. Would make a hell of a find. Son of a bitch. I would do it, Nathaniel. No, no, no way. You are going with the others. Look at him. He's just a normal family man now. He's a normal good man. No treasure hunting nonsense anymore. The obsessive bullshit is all gone. Glad although he kept some relics from it. Oh yeah, that's the thing we climbed in too. Yeah. This one of the stranger things I've collected along the years. This is from the first game. I don't remember though. What's this? A Spanish doubloon found in a German U-boat in the middle of a jungle. Who would have thunk? First, man, they reference a lot of the first game here. They really didn't forget about that so one. Francis Drake takes a bullet for Sully. <laughs> Look at the picture. Look at us. Oh my goodness. I 
Another thing from the first game. Sir Francis and his elaborate puzzles. Oh, third game. This weird little fucking thing. Shambhala. <laughs> Number two. Miss you, pal. Oh, they didn't forget about him. Nice. Tenzin. Wonder what he's doing now. So many men killed each other for a piece of this. Mm, it's the glowing crap from the second game. <gasps> it's all of Sam's shit. Oh man, he's still hurt over his death. Thanks for nothing, Saint Dismas. All those years, he's still hurt over Sam. Now this was a crazy ride. Nate, how's things? I've been up to my usual shenanigans. Nothing major, but enough to keep the heat on the wine stock. Caught wind of something that sounded right up your alley. Did you ever change your mind? Give me a yell, and I'm always on hand for a quick getaway. Love, Chloe. Damn, so Nate turned him down, or turned her down. Not really my style anymore. The fuck are these, like, belt buckles? Yeah! Girl. Take cover. We're surrounded. Bullseye. Girl. Wait, I can hit that one. Isn't that one Lazarvage? Take that. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. Eat plastic. <laughs> eat plastic? Not the right. eat plastic. Gotcha. You're having way too fun, much fun with this, my dog. Business. Well, playtime's over. You silly motherfucker. I like how he just has a toy gun and targets here. You can just tell that he's, he misses that. <laughs> he misses just shooting shit. <gasps> I get to see their house. I love their house too. This is like the house I like, dream of having. This is Elena's office, I believe. Hey, whoa, look at me, so handsome. I think she just has a bathroom in here, too. Wow, we really need to go on another vacation. It's been too long. I am so happy they got, like, married and are together. You have no idea how much joy it fills me. Bangkok Travel Guide. Let me see what her degrees are. Okay, how do I uh, zoom in? No. I'm trying to see what her degrees say. Is there any way I could zoom? No. 
There we go. This is what I was looking for. She got a master's degree in journalism? Holy shit. Go, girl. Okay. Nice little office. What else we got? Laundry. Nipple. Oh, is this your bedrooms? <gasps> Let me see your photo. <gasps> your wedding photos. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Sully was the best man. And is that Chloe right there, though? Is that supposed to be her? Wow. Oh, Sully's crying. I can't wait to have like a wedding photo album like this. Now that is a good one. This is so cool that you get to see like what they've been up to since the third game. Since it's been at the time, it was like this game was like came out like seven years after the third one. So we all thought they were done, but no, they came out with another. And I, I believe this takes place at least like 10, like, like 10, maybe like years since the third one. It has been a long time since the third one. I mean, clearly you can see like he's aged quite a bit. God, you guys have like three fucking you restrooms in your house. Well, I was researching something. Oh, is that what we're calling it these days? I was. Hey, would you mind grabbing the food? I'm just wrapping up here. Oh, yeah, sure thing. Thanks. Thanks. This is such a nice house. What the fuck have you cooked up here? Looks interesting. Is that a PlayStation 1 there? Holy fucking titties. This is the best house ever. Done. Okay. Oh. Finish it? Yeah. Oh. You know, it's probably too long and full of typos, but that's what editors are for, right? God, I'm starving. It looks good. Mm-hmm. So, how was your day? What? Hmm? Huh? Got none of that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How was your day? Oh, it was fine. Mm -hmm. Typical day in paradise. Mm -hmm. I uh, I got to pull a bunch of garbage out of a river. Mm -hmm. Yes. At least you got to go for a swim. <laughs> Did you find any exciting garbage? Oh, it was some brilliant stuff. It was a uh, early 21st century truck we got. <laughs> Apparently the natives called it a semi. Oh, dear Lord. Okay, so... so it's boring stuff. Tell me about the article. Well, it started out as this fluff piece about. <sighs> I love Elena. Elena's super hot think too. The magazine is gonna like the angle that I'm taking. Yeah, I'm gonna hear the comments like generic white girl, but she is the generic white girl. All right. Everyone's got one generic white girl that is super hot to them. Mine is Elena and Taylor Swift. <laughs> ah, uh, you miss it, buddy, don't you? What? Where are you? I'm in here being stabbed with a fork. Oh, really? <laughs> what? Just keep going. It was, it was interesting. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. What's my article about? What? This one? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're putting me in a dangerous position. I'm gonna say uh, people, people of Bangkok. Of, of, uh, Bangkok, and and the smog and how they they can't uh, can't get a flight anywhere and people can't breathe. <laughs> wow. Right, I'm sorry. No, it was Valiant. I was, I was in the really ballpark, right? In a different state, but yeah, you were in a ballpark. <laughs> 
Jameson asked you about that Malaysia job again. Jameson always asked me about the Malaysia job. Look, Nate, I really think that you should take it. You know what? I don't want it. Really. I mean, he doesn't have the permits. And we agreed we're not going to take that kind of work anymore. It's okay, just not worth it. it. It doesn't sound that risky, all right? It's, if it's just a permit. No way. You could call Sullivan. You haven't seen him Elena, in about two years. Well, could we please drop this? Okay, I just don't want you to not take it because of me. I'm not taking it because of me, okay? I appreciate the gesture. It's just... I'm gonna go ahead and do the dishes. Okay. Stop, I'll do them. No, you on. did them last night. No, you cooked. I clean. It's fine. I mean, at least, at least, uh, let me, let me try to earn it or, or something. Let me, um, play you for it. You'll play me for yeah, it? Yeah, 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 your little TV game thing. I bet I can beat your high score. You think that you can beat my high score on my TV game thing? Yeah, I think you're scared now. You don't even know what it's called. I don't need to know what it's <laughs> called. I've seen you play. It's right. jumping and running, and I have a natural talent oh, for that. Really? So what do you say, chicken? Is it a bet? Oh, wow. OK, cowboy. OK. This is it, the best part of the game. Oh, I'm playing right. Crash Bandicoot, baby. Is this it? No, it has to load. Load? Yes. This is taking a really long time. You have no patience. When you turn something on, you expect it to... Okay, there we go. Crash Bandicoot. This is so cool. No? No, just, uh... How do you, uh... How do you make it go? Push the start button. I knew that. All right. I got it. Okay, so you want to run. Isn't this so the cool? Run to the camera. Get oh, I have to use the D-pad too. The circle too. button is your spin attack. Spin attack. Yeah, press X to jump. Right. Which one's X? Yeah, right thumb. Okay, run away from the boulder. Why is the boulder chasing me? Just run away from it. I did nothing to this boulder. That spinning hurt. This is so cool. They like included a whole ass PS1 game on here. Okay, you got it. There you go. What is that thing? A fox? A bandicoot. Looks like a fox. It's like a fox in jeans. Okay, smash the boxes. Why is a fox smashing crates? A bandicoot, and that's just, it's what he does. It's a fox, and it's not very realistic. Uh, it's it's not pretty. very realistic. Aren't they? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's like Perfect. me playing a game. Holy shit. It's a bandicoot. That doesn't look anything like a bandicoot. Have you ever seen a bandicoot? Uh, no, but I'm sure they don't wear sneakers. Okay, grab the fruit. What is the fruit? A hundred gives you an extra life. A hundred? Who's got time to pick a hundred pieces of fruit? <laughs> <laughs> that was that was not too bad. I can't believe I beat the level. I usually suck fucking ass at this thing, dude. I can never beat it. Also, her high score is impossible to beat. Like, it's, like, fucking hard. What? Is that it? You asked for it. Oh, oh you gotta be kidding me. But to be fair, it's I think that's really the closest hard. I've ever you got to beating her score. Come on, double or nothing. My car could really use a good cleaning. Really? really? You're gonna start yeah. the smack talk There's now? There's this mode called easy mode. I just switch it. Wow. It's way no, easier on no, Just keep mode. talking. Keep talking. What are you gonna do? I'm, I'm warning. What are you gonna do? I'm warning. In real life, what hey, can you do? I'm Show me. I'm do you know? In real life. What do you think about that? Huh? <laughs> hey, are you happy? Yeah, of course. You? Um. Um? <laughs> really? Come here. Not open yet.
We're closed. Come on, man. All right, I'm coming. Coming. I wonder who that could be. <sighs> yeah, can I help you? Yeah, I'm uh, looking for my little brother. Well, hello there, buddy. Little height, a little bit leaner. Definitely less gray in the temples. Sam? It's good to see you again, Nathan. God, Sam. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> How? How? I thought you... I saw you get shot. Yes, you did. Right there. Huh? Jesus. Damn. You well, survived doctors, that? They, well, doctors, they patched me up and they... tossed me right back into the cell. Yeah, but I... I mean... Calls. I, I checked everywhere. I, everything I heard, everything I found, it, it all confirmed you were dead. Well, Nathan, we killed a guard. Okay, so they wanted to see me rot in that cell for the rest of my life, and I nearly did. Jesus, Sam, I. Man, if I had known, I, I, I swear to you, I would have you come back. would have come back. I know, Nathan. I know. What's important now, though, is that I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. You still with me? It's some air. <laughs> You're not gonna pass out on me or nothing, I, are you? I just might. <laughs> it's a lot to digest, you know? <sighs> but how, how did you get out? When did you get out? How, how'd you even get here, find me? All right, right, right. Slow down. Okay. Have a seat. Okay. I wanna hear about you. Huh? Me? Yeah. What's to tell? Well, call some of your old contacts. They tell me some pretty crazy ass stories. Oh, geez, what crazy stories? <laughs> Got shot, hanging from a derailed train in the Himalayas. Yeah, that uh, that actually happened. Come on, man. What did I miss? Jeez, Sam, where do I start? Start with the best part. El Dorado. Oh man, so I literally just pick what game I think is the best out of the whole trilogy, huh? <laughs> well, on that note, I'm gonna have to say Shambhala okay, from number um, two. A few years back, I got roped into uh, breaking into this Turkish museum to steal this oil lamp, okay? Oil lamp? Uh, it was an artifact from Marco Polo's lost treasure fleet. Kubla Khan's treasure. Yeah, yeah, and as it turns out, it was a whole hell of a lot more on those ships than just treasure. I mean, what can I say? Damn, he Another just caught Lost City destroyed, and uh, we made it out alive. Barely. He just told him all three games, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it was. I wish you could have been there. No, it, it's literally unbelievable. You, you tell me you stumble upon yet another archaeological <laughs> gold mine, and somehow you manage to walk away with nothing. Yeah, well, it's a story of my life, I guess. But, you know, I managed to grab a few trinkets here and there. Mm. Paid off the car, the house, engagement ring. The engagement ring? I'm married. I can't believe... Uh, Elena, from the stories, that's my wife. You gotta come meet her. Tonight, dinner. At my place. You're coming to dinner. I can tell her all about you. Shit, I, gotta tell her all I just about love you. that. Listen, I'm in a lot of trouble here. I just love that. What? He didn't even. He waited till the whole fucking trouble. time to tell her about all three games. He's like, oh, also I'm married. Like the Al Kazar ring about with you. He's the the drug lord. Mm -hmm. Butcher of Panama, right? Why? Funny story, but uh, last year he was my cellmate. So this is how I got out of prison. Well, you're not reading tonight. Samuel, come here. 
Listen. Guards. They're singing. Yeah, well, they're probably drunk. Perhaps. But they are content. How can they be content with their small lives? Their miserable jobs? <laughs> well, I mean, they have wives to go home to. What do we got? Huh? No offense. We have ambition. No. <laughs> and when we get out of here, that ambition will take us to places these idiots cannot even imagine. Yeah, well, amen to your optimism. What will you do when you get out, Samuel? <laughs> That's if I get out of here. I'm sure you can imagine. I can. But I want to hear you say it. I will find the greatest pirate treasure of all time. Which I'm sure you are sick of hearing about by now. Oh, no. The tale of Henry Avery and his 400 million in jewels and gold has... Become a sweet lullaby for me. Do you really think you can find it? Given the opportunity? Absolutely. <laughs> Ambition. What is that Avery quote? <laughs> I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. I like how he thinks. What the hell was that? The opportunity of a lifetime. Señor Alcázar, un gusto verlo. Segmento aquí. Oh. ¿Qué hacemos con él? Samuel, are you ready to seek your fortune? Yeah. Vámonos. All right. Shit. All right, well, we'll see how he gets out next time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys later.